praise be a teddy bear Hey guys, Zemnis here back with another com a comfy build today. We actually are using the teddy bear hammer This is definitely going to be su uh, a super solid build as you guys seen in the build preview This build actually can hang with a lot of like builds Sitting there and using the new risen kush Ability is just gonna make it so that way hammer is just gonna feel super juicy with sitting uh, sitting there and not only being able to wake up stuff with impact crater as long as you can get the sleeps off as you've seen with the diamo hermitar almost like little mini speed run i did there you can't sit there and honestly go through and wake him up too efficiently but with other monsters like rathalos and stuff you're never gonna have a big issue I do want to sit there and say and preference that for new hammer play, uh, players You are definitely gonna to want to sit there and keep Stance dancing. So you're gonna to want to sit there and keep going between blue and ye uh, yellow for your hammer stances It just so that way you can get big Big hits big damage and keep going on top of that this build is not and nor do I actually like running Waterfall a waterfall for hammer I'll really never use it just because of the simple fact of side smash goes straight into big bang like this is big damage like Even sitting there we hit a uh, an 1120 on that like I can't give that up. That is just huge damage So with that let's sit there and get into today's build with today's build We are rocking 373 attack with 56 sl uh, sleep since this is a sl uh, sleep build We are gonna sit there and just really emphasize on that and on top of that We don't need a great sword player to wake it up since we have impact crater our impact craters are going to sit there and do tons of damage 800 and 67 armor as i said before our switch skill for both scrolls is going to say side smash i do not care for wa a waterfall because there's just so much damage that you're leaving on the table when you do it i do understand for newer players that they're they're just they need the the counter to sit there and deal with stuff but it's just when it comes down to it my way of dealing with monsters is by holding the charge and then just running around going through and waiting for my opportunity to sit there and just give the monster the goods and on top of that sitting there and being able to go through if you have enough stamina from uh, from your spin uh, your spinning straight into big bang is just super so uh, solid because of side smash so it's just it's stuff i can't give up we are using switch uh, uh charge switch strength for both our scrolls this is just my prefer uh, preferred way technically speaking you could get away with doing courage shenanigans here uh so that is going to be up to you guys whether you really like courage or strength sit there and if you did play this bu build leave a comment down below sitting there and saying which charge switch you like you know let, let's sit there and have a discussion about that because that that would be very interesting to, to see spitting bludgeon is going to be on both my uh, my scrolls i just i i love it uh, i love it can't go wrong with it you know it's just my prefer uh, preferred way on uh, with that one being a hammer main for most of this it, it's just it's the way i start uh, kept playing with my red scroll however this is where it changes up for four and five i have keep sway uh swaying here just because uh because you can sit there go th uh, go through and let me get to my scroll here you can sit there go uh, go through hold it uh, hold it up sit there go through uh, go through an act like go through an attack and keep your charge up i like i see where they're going with this i definitely would have rathered it be something like say ta like how greatsword has tackled but it definitely helps uh, helps out i also have impact burst here it's just a extra buff to sit there and be able to get faster ko uh, faster ko's keep in mind though you definitely do want your ko food so definitely keep eating for ko so that way you can get even more just knockouts with that we're gonna sit there swap over and see that my four, oh, four and five for those that have seen our sunbreak builds is never gonna really cha uh, change i enjoy spinning uh, silk blind spinning bludgeon 
a ton. I use it for when Rathians go in the air. I use it for engaging in certain hunts. It's just an awesome, awesome tool to have at my disposal. On top of that, Impact Crater is what this build is fa uh, based around. You will see from time to time after hit uh, hits and stuff that our wire bugs there are glowing green. More hits, more swings, speeds up the time. So with more time sitting there going through and getting our wire bugs back up means more chances to go through and do impact crater uh, impact craters or just even keep things going in terms of what we're doing with our wire bugs it's just overall going to be a super solid addition to hammer it's going to be my preferred way of playing um i'm going to probably mix this up and constantly keep going through and playing other things that aren't sleep so this is just going to be my like almost kind of meta pick for hammer almost with the skills we are rocking full bur uh, burst attack boost level four weakness exploit level three sleep attack level three slugger level three stamina thief level three stun resistance level three speed sharpening level three Firebug Whisper at level 3, Defiance at level 3, Redirection at level 2, Charge Master at level 2, Wind Mantle at le uh, level 2, Resentment at level 1, and Flinch Free at level 1. Wind Mantle, I didn't find a difference between going from level 2 to level th uh, 3 too much, so i rather just have level 2 and get more skills. Charge Master is definitely going to be here for sitting there going through and having a good time with getting more sleeps. Speaking about that, we are rocking our good old little bear. With the augment system, you can make this have so much good stuff to it. And the fact that it is super good. I haven't augmented it as you've seen, but what I would do is I'd either increase your attack if you're wanting more uh, more damage, increase your sleep, because uh, sleep, that's also an option, or just go after your sharpness and get your sharpness up uh, up even more. Just more values of sharpness just means you'll it's less time you're sitting there going through and sharpening and more time you're just sitting there and dropping big big fat deeps so that is going to be my suggestion for that with that we are using two pieces of risen kushaladora you are going to want helm and gloves for this with the sk uh, skills on the helm we are going to sit there and get wind mantle level one full wire bug whisper redirection level one weakness exploit level one and flinch free level one keep in mind this is not augmented at all because we're not sitting there and going through and showing everyone augmented builds i will be doing a separate video for that so if you guys are interested in how the comfy hunter sits there and augments his build stay tuned for that one arch fiend ar armor this is this is definitely a little bit more end gamey ish because of the simple fact of we're using both love of uh, both pieces of arch fiend so you are going to have to sit there and farm up a gem for that for the waste with the chest we are wa rocking weakness exploit level one resentment level one burst level one redirection level two and attack boost level one risen Ku uh, kush gloves giving us our second level of wind mantle we are sitting there and getting burst level two full speed shar uh, sharpening and attack le uh, level one as you can see with the four uh four two that's where we are getting our speed shar uh, sharpening and the rest of our sleep attack arch fiend waste this is just overall a juicy juicy piece there's no there's no way you can't go wrong with this with weakness exploit level uh, level one burst level two and sleep attack level two just overall just good stuff on top of that we are gonna sit there and have good good old golem greaves giving a uh, giving us charge master level two slugger level three and stamina thief level three keep in uh, keep in mind stamina thief is only really in here just because hammer can utilize it i would like something else that's a little bit better but with all the level one deck uh decos uh <laughs> There, there was just like three levels where you you have something that you can play with stamina thief was already here so why not just utilize utilize it with the talisman today we are rocking attack boost level three with three level ones keep in mind with the new talisman system these are actually very easy to get all you have to do is keep 
f uh, farming and going through your atta attack talismans eventually you will get one of these they'll be very common and very easy to get or you'll get something even better and you'll get like a two one one or a th three uh three one one so do keep in mind these aren't as hard as before if we go uh, go through and look at the uh, build breakdown you are going to see the fact that we are two uh two levels over on burst uh i don't have the different p uh, the different piece that i would exchange out for the uh, for this um so do keep in mind there is a piece that you can switch out this is just the warning in tldr not all of this is going to be there i'm pretty sure it was waste but i can't uh it was either waste yeah it was waste that i was switching out but you're still going to be able to get weakness exploit in here but this is the disclaimer that i do wanted to give to you guys with with all that today's b uh, hammer build has just been a blast to play i've been enjoying coming back to hammer we finally as of update level three have a reason to sit there go through and just play hammer and just have a great time just smashing faces with impact crater it's super juicy with that if you guys enjoyed the video just sit there give a subscribe to the uh, to the little man and give a thumbs up if you like the video until the next video just remember to stay comfy